Shalom Yasharala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders, the great millstone, who still guard us in the highways and byways and feed us with the 100% truth, according to the Bible, and Ruel, Shalom, Labachayim, Wabarakim, Shayar Sharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel, and the Lashim Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And uh, pretty much uh, this lesson is going to be on the Lord is our salvation, who shall we fear? You know, so as you see that quote on the screen, man, no excuses, no worries, no regrets, no fear. Go all in. For what, though? For this truth. You know, that's why I'm luring that Jim quote towards this truth. You know, just as the Apostle Paul did. You know, so the first scripture we're going to start off with is the book of, uh, my friend, let's go to the book of Psalms first. Let's go to the book of Psalms. This is the book of Psalms. What is it, 27? It's the book of Psalms, chapter 27. It's the Psalm, chapter 27, verse 1. And it reads, Yahweh is my light and my salvation. As I can see, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is our light and our salvation. The light represents this knowledge, this truth. You know, salvation represents deliverance, man. You know, it's rescuing. Yahweh Hashem is the only one that can give us that, and he's going to give that to the nation of Israel. Uh, but within the nation of Israel, he's going to do that for his elect. And then to be specific, I'm going to read this over again. This is the book of Psalms 27, verse 1. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Exactly. Yahweh Hashem has given us this wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Bible, man. You know, that we understand the promises, we understand the prophecies that he has given us. Whom shall we fear, man? The prophecy says that Esau, Edom, is going to come down upon our people having great wrath. But the scriptures also said that the Lord is going to destroy Esau, Edom, man. You know, to, and take them out of rulership and their elites going to under, uh, into slavery, man. And he's going to deliver his elect and give us, uh, give us, uh, give us rest, man. You know? That's just part of the promises that I can think off the head, off of my head. And it reads on, Yahweh is my strength of, is the strength of my life. Exactly. How does the Lord strengthen us, man? By increasing us in the wisdom and knowledge and understanding and uh, putting us through uh, trials and uh, increasing our experiences, you know what I'm saying, in this truth, man. That's how the Lord strengthens you. The Lord strengthens you through your experience, man. Like the apostles went into when you break down that, that word experience, X meaning to uh X meaning out, experience means to try. You know? So it literally means to try out. The Lord's gonna try you out by putting you through hell, man, to see what you're gonna do. Just like he did uh Job, man. You know. Uh and it reads on and Lord Yahweh Shah, who the word even calls Jesus Christ, and it reads on of whom shall I be afraid? Exactly. The Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear. As a matter of fact, um, let's get Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. You know, this is the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Who is the righteous man? The righteous men are the prophets, the men of the Lord, whom the Lord has given, uh, has given the wisdom and knowledge and understanding to, right? He said that we're going to stand in great boldness, man. Starting off with the head apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, on down, man. You know, we stand in great boldness, man. And it says, before the face of such have afflicted him. Exactly, see? And that's what we do, man. For the heathen, starting off with the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, beginning with the elites, on down to the two-thirds of our own people, man. You know? We stand in great boldness, uh, curse, uh, uh, cursing the, uh, these people out, man. You know? And, 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 um, and cutting them with the scriptures. And it reads, uh, and made account of, it's like, and made no account of his labors, exactly, see? And they don't, man. All the work that we put in at building this country up, 
even in this truth, all the work that we put in, the studying, staying up for hours, watching the news, you know what I'm saying? They don't make account of our labors, man. But guess what? Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to get that verse two. And when they, uh, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Exactly. See? Meaning when they see the chariots, right? And shall be amazed at the strangers of his salvation, at our deliverance, right? You know, of being abducted so hard, right? They're going to be shook so far beyond that they look for, right, man? Because they're going to be like, hey, man, matter of fact, I'm going to read verse 3. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach, exactly, see? So the ones that we mocked and scoff at, saying that they were bummer lights, saying that they was pedophiles and rapists, that they 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 allowing so called uh, uh, white boys into their camps, you know what I'm saying? The one that we called uh, um, uh, they call they make all type of derogatory names for us to hear a great millstone, saying that we're the most uh, we are disgrace amongst all the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? When they see our salvation, man, they're gonna be shook, man. They're gonna be like, dang, man. They were the men of the Lord the whole time. They're going to be confounded, man. They're going to be put to shame, man, when the Lord reveals who his real men of the Lord is, man. And we know that through faith that it's us. That's not what I heard Apostle Elder the Great Millstone. That's why we don't fear, man. You know, we have faith. Oh, they, they say that we faith brace Israelites, which that's not actually an insult, but they think it's an insult. You know? But, uh... Let's see here. Let's go to the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 12. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 1, but the point is at verse 2. This is the book of Isaiah 12, verse 1. And in that day thou shalt say, O Yahweh, I will praise thee, though, though thou wast angry with me. Thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Exactly. See, and how does the Lord comfort us with the scriptures, man? You know, by giving us the understanding, man. You know? Uh, the anger of the Lord is really going to be turned away once we get uh, delivered out of here, man. You know, but right now the Lord's anger is turned away just a tad by giving us this knowledge, man. You know, that's how we know. Uh, verse 2, Behold, which, mean, which means to look, the, uh, Yahweh is my salvation. Yahweh Shemiah Shah is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord Yahweh is my strength and my song. He has also become my salvation. Exactly. So if we know. That's what Lord Yahweh Shah said. Uh, fear not him that can destroy the body, man. But, but fear him that can de uh, destroy both soul and body in hell, man. You know. So if Yahweh Bashim Shah is on our side, man. We have nothing to fear, man. You know. You know. We ain't got nothing to fear. You know. That's why we constantly do this work willingly through the Spirit by Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. This is the book of Isaiah 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness, man. See, and that's the Heavenly Father Yahweh speaking, man. You know, he says, fear thou not, for I, for I am with thee. He is with us, man. You know, that's why nobody is able to gainsay nor resist the words that we're uh, teaching out of the scriptures, man. You know, um, and the right hand of the uh, of the heavenly father, Yahweh, this Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. You know, so um, let's see here. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, you know. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. And it reads, uh, the wicked flee when no man pursueth. Exactly, see? You know, the wicked flee when no man pursueth, man. You know, that's why you got fallouts, man. You know, you got cats that's getting weak, that's falling out this truth, man. You know, and they just fleeing, man. You know, when Esau, Edom ain't even come down upon our people yet. Persecuting ain't even like at a... At a at the, at, the, at the peak yet, you know, but the reason, but the righteous are bold as a lion, right? But the righteous are going to stand firm and bold in Yahweh Shemuel Shai as a lion, man. You know, a lion is a very uh, courageous animal, man. You know, 
And that's how the Lord is likening to the nation of Israel, man. Starting off with the head job, Judah, you know, the so-called Negroes, man. So, uh, so now we're going to go to the book of Psalms, the third chapter. We're going to close it out. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 3, verse 6. And it reads, I will not be afraid of tens and thousands of people. This is one of my favorites. They have set themselves against me round about. So it don't matter how many scoffers and scorners come up against us, man. We're going to constantly push this word, constantly have fear and faith in Yahweh by Shimei Shah. And uh, just do the work to the best of our abilities to the Lord come back and uh, deliver us, man. No matter how many people come up against this truth, man. You know, from the smaller ranks to the higher ups, man. You know? So, Lord willing, that was edifying. Till next time, I say shalom.